he had to leave. He had a fry engagement, so he had to leave. So Mr. Rule left. Now, when Mr. Rule, yeah, when Mr. Rule left, <coughs> the the floor was open for questions. Mm -hmm. A lot of concerns, the Kenyans who live in that vicinity, especially across the road in the Arawakum subdivision, mm -hmm. was there, and they wanted to find out who was entitled to apply for these lots. Okay. If the Russell said that, only persons who lived in Mackey Yard are entitled at this time mm. to apply for these government-owned lots. Oh, my goodness. Listen to me. Mm -hmm. When Mackey Yard burned down, um, the man in charge of immigration, Jack Thompson, uh -huh. said 5% That's right. Bahamian citizens. That's correct. Okay, now, let's be, let's be real about it. We are Bahamians. Bahamians should come first in a country that's small, especially when it comes to giving out land. If five persons is entitled to a lot in my yard, why is it now that every day 20 to 25 persons are being regulated, given Bahamian regularized, mm -hmm. given Bahamian status, so they, therefore, can apply for these lots? We had persons of Haitian descent who came up to the mic and said their mother lived in Mackey Yard, who was a Bahamian, and their father was uh, of Haitian descent. But their father passed away. Is their mother entitled to property? <laughs> okay. All right. The answer would be yes. Okay, listen now. Then we had young Haitian Bahamians. I don't believe in that saying Haitian Bahamian, either Haitian or your Bahamian. That's how I look at it. The problem said that. that they were 20, they have a behemoth passport, are they entitled to apply for land? Mm -hmm. That question was answered. Mm -hmm. I got up on the floor, I went to the mic, and I asked the minister, Minister, what, why is it that only persons in my yard are allowed to apply for 53 lots from various sizes, and what is the price of these lots? Now, you do the math, Steve. If you live in the fire trail area or anywhere, anybody could call from the Carmichael area. Lots in this area is going between seventy to seventy-five thousand dollars, sixty by one hundred. Mm -hmm. If it's big up, you may pay up to ninety thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Okay? Even the price of government issued land now, duplex sizes, this is sixty by one hundred is going between fifty five to sixty thousand dollars if you buy it from housing today. Mm -hmm. He said the price of the land would be three dollars and forty cents a square foot. Mm -hmm. You do the math. In some instances, you will be paying between twelve thousand dollars mm -hmm. for a size lot mm -hmm. to eighteen thousand dollars. That's correct. The size lot would be into twenty-one thousand. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Why is it that the Hamid, born here from the Hamid parents, the Hamid? cannot apply for these lots, but they're only issuing to Maki Yard people. That's where the suspicion is, isn't it? And the mortgage rate, if they go to the mortgage corporation, was said in that meeting last night, will be at approximately 1.5%. 1.5%? For a mortgage. Wow. The lowest ever. My God. Okay? So why you can't give this to Bahamian people who are not Bahamian by paper but by birth? But you want to give it to the father? See, see, when I went into that meeting, I didn't see no color. I didn't see red. I didn't see yellow. I didn't see green. I didn't see purple. I saw the bohemian and the bohemian flag. I saw me as a bohemian standing up for my right in that meeting. When I started to talk and I questioned the minister about the north and the sizes and why is it I was attacked by the Creole-speaking people. In that meeting, the police who was dead in the inspector. The thing, the Bahamian Creole speaking people. Yes, the right Creole. Mm -hmm. The inspector who was there, the lady police officer, they had to come to the mic to me and tell me, please, don't say anything else. Finish up. I tell them no. Uh, a, a gentleman who could have had these speakers spoken English said to me, who do I think I am to come in there? I said, I'm a Bahamian. My neighbor string is buried through Miami Street in Mr. Newman's yard. That's where I born. Mm -hmm. I know I know where I come from. Where did you come from? Which boat you came on to come here illegally to now receive land that my nieces and nephew can't receive. See, we have to be honest and we have to be open with it. Yeah. When these parties believe
political parties call for um, um, rallies, whether it be red, yellow, or green, we there by the thousands. Here's a national issue where the government is seeing fit to make these people behemoth citizens and giving them first choice of prime land in the Bahamas. And yet we cannot stand up as one country, one nation, and say, no, this cannot happen. We don't care which party is in power. We put them down our colors. We preserve this for behemoths and rightfully behemoths by birth. Not paper, because they get swearing today and they get the paper for their land tomorrow or even in some instance today. This has nothing to do with politics. And Steve McKinney, believe you me, I can tell you, I am a hardcore PLP, but I spoke to my leader and I told him today this has nothing to do with politics. I am a behemoth, I come first, and this should not happen in our country. The PLP is silent about it. The FNM is sending bread to roll of every talk show today, refuting and rebutting and saying it didn't go so. The DNA is the only party so far which speak out in reference to policies, in reference to illegals. Okay? I tell them this is nothing to do with party. This is to do with being a bohemian. You have to stand for something. No in question about it. Let me answer this question, uh, and I'm, I'm glad that you, you, you actually laid it out uh, succinctly for us today, and I think the entire Bahamian populace appreciates what you have said just now. This 1.5% mortgage is just unbelievable. But uh, apart from that, um, the fact that you laid out the, the cost and all that was said in the meetings, what do you make, and I'll let you go, what do you make of this whole thing? Do you see this being explosive? Do you see this being confrontational? Do you think that behaviors are accepting what the government has said and what the spokesperson has uh, offered today on the table as an explanation? Mr. McKinney, <clears throat> behaviors, the behaviors public, the massive should not accept anything. Okay, we should not accept that my yard was being squatted on for under the PFP and under the F and M. And those people were living there illegally. Like, listen to me carefully, there are 42 squatter subdivisions in New Providence. This marquee yard will be setting a precedent for the rest of the subdivision. Oh, you said about four. Not four. You said about four. For them to be regularized and for them to give land under any particular government, because if this government do it, the PRP will come behind the in the election. And they will do it again. I said that the FNM did it to Marky Yacht, so now they're doing it in Cole Acres. Or now they're doing it down Franca Michael Road. We just regularizing and taking them out and fixing it up and selling it back to them. It's wrong. They came here illegal, they should go back where they come from. I appreciate you, Cole. Thank you very much, and I hear your passion. And I believe a lot of behaviors said amen. Hi, right, Copy, how are you? Good day, Steve. How are you doing? JT here. Yes, JT. Um, you know, I don't much call it for that. I don't have to be much listen to news or talk shows anymore. But somebody told me about this issue today, so I had to tune it to you to find out what's going on. And you know, Steve, let me just quickly say these things. One, I believe that the motive behind what is going on now by the incident is based on the fact that the Prime Minister has upset so many native Bahamians now that he is endeavoring to get uh, regularized so many uh, non um, um so many persons who were not born here to be citizens because he probably realizes now that the Bahamian people have no more regard for him and will vote him out or vote against him like crazy. So he's trying to put himself in a position politically to hold on to the seat of power. My God. For, and then this is just my personal opinion now. But if indeed there's any threat, any ounce of truth to what I just said, like you know what the saying goes, Steve, power corrupts. And absolutely, absolute power corrupts absolutely. I am honestly afraid right now as to how Mr. Mr. Ingram has been conducting himself as Prime Minister to be the Bahamian people who put him to be the Prime Minister over this country. He, he was supposed to be a Bahamian. Now, that being said, Steve, I, you know, that lady was talking about 1.5% interest rate, eh? Yes. On, 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 on those mortgages from the... Uh, the Bahamas Corporation. My right. God, I tell you, when, when, when have you been have been given such concessionary rates on mortgage? Yes, but as Tom and I last week, uh, we paid 20 and 18% and 19% and 21%. And, you know, and Steve here, 
Andy. Here's the thing. In, in, in the person speaking, 2004, I paid for a piece of crown land in Andros. Okay? I have the receipt, the, 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 government, the offer from the government. I have a receipt of purchase for the land seven years ago now, April of this year. This administration, it was under the Ingram administration that I was given that crown land, granted a crown land. And today, this, thing, this administration happened to be under Mr. Ingram Brew again. Mm -hmm. Has not seen fit to have that area in Stanley Creek, where my property is, to be surveyed. Every, and, 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 and under the PLP, it was the same thing, so I'm not necessarily singling out Ms. Noy that's frustrated by not 